Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo. Welcome back to a Minecraft console edition title update 53 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know about the new controller settings that have been introduced. Not only is this a great feature in this update, it's one of the greater features ever introduced to Minecraft console edition because you, yes you watching this video, now have the ability to customize your controller to how you play Minecraft, whether that's creative, survival, or something a little different. If this video does help you out, be sure to thumbs it up because it helps me out. And also, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about the pick block button that has also been introduced. So pressing start, going into help and options, going into controls, we now have things looking very, very different. Now after you've watched this video, I highly recommend having a little bit of mess around with the settings. Don't worry if you break it or change buttons by mistake because if you make a little bit of a mistake, all you gotta do is go to reset to default, hit OK, and it's gonna reset your controller to how you've been playing Minecraft for a very long time. So scrolling down, we have the movement options. Invert lock, I really don't rec uh, sorry, invert lock, I don't recommend using this because when you look down, you're looking up. When you look up, you're looking down. Unless you're doing like a challenge video, this is something I really don't suggest. Now in today's video, I'm using an Xbox One Elite controller. I do have the paddles underneath, which I can quick assign to buttons. I'm just gonna be teaching you the basics of an Xbox controller, a PlayStation controller, and this should also work for Nintendo consoles as well. So scrolling down, we have the standard section. Further down there, we have the creative section, then the mini game lobby, which I was surprised, spectating, and at the bottom, we have the glide mini game as well. Now, I could be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure if you customize your standard controller settings, being these ones, it will take effect in the battle mini game and also the tumble mini game as well. As for Glide, they have their own settings. So something I thought there was a little bit of an example that I could teach you, and that is to do with the uh, mini game pre-lobby. So for a long time, B for me in Minecraft has been to throw items or drop items on the floor. But in the mini game lobby, you can't do that. B is set to vote. So what I used to do being sneaky in the battle mini game is I would collect all the skulls and fill up everybody's inventory. So when they tried to grab items, they couldn't because they would have skulls in there. So for example, maybe you were sick and tired of having to go into the inventory, hold the item and then drop it on the floor. All you got to do to change this is, for example, if I press A, it will then give me the option to change this. It says press any button uh, or press back to cancel. Maybe I wanted to change my voting system to Y. Now basically this is just for the uh, mini game lobby itself. This does not take effect to the standard way you will play Minecraft, Creative or Survival. Now in all honesty, the majority of these options, they're good for your standard way of playing Minecraft. More importantly, Creative. Because these are generally the buttons that you use for Creative. Now by default, Sprint is not assigned and pick block isn't assigned. That's important about pick block. As for the sprinting, once you guys can see, you double push forward on your analog stick and you're automatically sprinting as well. Um, I can imagine a lot of people are gonna mess around with, around with these settings for PVP based, whether it be battle or something a little different with, when you're playing with your friends. Um, so the pick block button by default is not assigned. And that's what you guys have gotta remember because in controller settings, uh, we, we are limited on a controller compared to a keyboard on how many buttons we have. There's only a select amount of buttons that we can use on a controller. So no matter what happens when you mess around with these settings, there's going to be one button that's not going to be assigned. By default, it's the pick block button. Pick block button. Mouthful to say. Uh, but to me, the pick block button is linked to creative. Now, when I fly in Minecraft in creative, I really don't use the up key that much. In fact, I don't use it at all. So what I've started to notice people are doing, including myself, is assigning the pick block button by pressing A as the up key. Now, as I've done this, it's changed. It says button conflict detected. Please assign a button to use this action. So like I've explained, there's gonna be one button that's not automatically assigned. So previously in Minecraft, if I was in creative, if I was to fly up, I'd, I'd use the up key. I'm pressing the up key but it's not doing anything because the up key has now been assigned for me to pick block. But in, in creative, I normally fly like this anyway, so the up key in creative for me is not needed, so I recommend using this key. But as you guys can see, coming to a block, 
As you guys can see, I can automatically pick up specific things, whether that's grass, whether that's uh, tall grass, whether that's sugarcane. I can even pick up mobs as well. And what it will do is it'll pick up the spawn egg. This does not work with select things and I'll teach you everything that the pick block does not work with, but it gave me a pig spawn egg. I can get um, a cow spawn egg. I can get sheep. As you guys can see, I can get stone, I can get wood, I can get leaves. Now when your inventory is full like this, what happens next? Well, the next item that you grab that isn't in your inventory, it will replace the item. So for example, I was done using tall grass. I then wanted to get the mushroom blocks, uh, the, yeah, them. All I do is push forward. Now with this one, it doesn't give you the solid block, which I'm quite, quite surprised about, very surprised about. And you also can't pick block these as well. So there's a select amount of things that you cannot pick block. And again, maybe I wanted my grass back, I can select it. This is gonna be a fantastic feature for the creative builders. Uh, it's gonna save so much time because I know a lot of people who are creative builders like to use a lot of stone. There's that many stone blocks that you don't really wanna to have to go into your inventory to grab something else and it just becomes annoying. And maybe at the end of it all, you're done in creative, you're done using the pick block button, help and options, go to controls, go to reset the default. And as you guys can see, if I'm in creative and I use up, it's gonna send me up very, very slowly. So the control settings, guys, gives you the freedom to do multiple things. I really can't see myself changing much options. The only options I would more than likely change is going to be the pick block button. You can assign sprint to something different. Let's assign uh, sprint to A actually, okay? Cause I've never done this. So apparently A for me is sprint now which is kind of really weird to say, because you know what I mean? This could be good for challenges. Um, it's kind of fun, I guess, you know? But uh, I can't really ever see myself using things like that. So getting into the pick block button itself, let's just reset this to default. Let me teach you what you can and what you cannot pick block. You're gonna be a little bit disappointed here, because I know you guys really want specific things. So things that I've noticed that you cannot pick block. You can pick block grass paths. You cannot pick block um, farmland. This has been something on Minecraft PC for a long time. So as you guys can see, as I try to pick block it, it picks up normal dirt. As for the grass path, I can pick block this kind of easily. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit more tutorials on what you can and cannot get. As I showed you before, you cannot pick block these. Well, you can, but it doesn't give you the actual solid block itself. Now, what I've kind of concluded is the things that are in creative, you should be able to pick block. But for example, these blocks are right here. You cannot pick block them for whatever reason. Now I've also tried to pick block uh, the husk and the stray, but they don't have a spawn egg on Minecraft console currently. So it doesn't give you anything other than a zombie and a skeleton. Uh, the other things that you guys wanna see, let's go and find them. So I think the number one question asked when 4G announced the pick block button was can you pick block spawners? As you guys can see in here, you cannot pick block spawners whatsoever. And this is a cow one, I've tried it with blaze ones, I've tried it with skeleton zombies, cave spiders, it does not work. I can do it with grass, I can do it with horses, I can do it with cows, but I cannot do it with spawners at all. A Couple of things in this room that you can pick block are, you can actually pick block the dragon spawn egg, which is good for creative maps. You can do it with the end crystals. You can do it of course with gold, you can do it with, um, the dragon head, you can do it with the end portal frames, but not while it's got uh, things inside of it. So for example, if I place this down now, it's not got the end portal, um, I the ender inside of it. But a very, very strange one is you can actually pick block barrier blocks on Minecraft console edition. This is a barrier block. I can actually pick block them, which is very strange. You can pick block barrier blocks, but you cannot pick block spawners. There's a couple other things that you can and cannot pick block. You cannot pick block water. You cannot pick block uh, uh, the nether um, like portal. Same at the end. So very strange. The fact that we can pick block this for me was very unusual. Well, hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you learned something new. If you did, be sure to thumbs it up. Have a great day. Stay beautiful. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.